That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In September 1969, three months after Apollo 11 touched down on the moon, a spectacular meteorite crash landed in the Australian country town of Murchison, Victoria. The chemical structures found inside this meteorite gave rise to a controversial hypothesis. Could the chemicals necessary for life have arrived on Earth from space? That meteorite is a very special meteorite. It has over 80 amino acids, uh, whereas life only it has 20. So this diversity of organic molecules containing nitrogen, containing phosphorus and carbon, and all this very important ingredients for the development of life, there is quite a lot of interesting chemistry that goes on inside meteorites. The theory that meteorites could have been instrumental in the origin of life on Earth is known as panspermia. So we get meteorites coming in from asteroids and even from Mars, which may bring the building blocks of life, but also potentially if life ever sparked on Mars may also carry microbial life on that meteorite to Earth. Panspermia hinges on extraterrestrial microbes being able to live off the chemicals inside meteorites. Now, when this was first proposed in like the late 70s, early 80s, this was considered quite, uh, uh, quite controversial. First of all, you have to prove that microbes can survive in space for that amount of time. You also then have to prove that they can survive the fiery re-entry to another planet. Scientists began experimenting to ascertain whether or not panspermia was plausible. This is my absolute favourite experiment. The Russians on an unmanned supply probe coming back, they prepared it in such a way that they drilled holes into the heat shield of the uh, probe and put in pieces of rock inoculated with microbes. So when the unmanned probe was coming back through the earth, it was at the business end of the fiery burning that was going on through re-entry. And yeah, a lot of microbes didn't survive, but some did. So in a very short amount of time, this idea went from, you know, that will never work to, oh yeah, it's quite possible. <laughs> 